my hand. I need some kind of like cool intro. Like I need to wait. Peter McKinnon, you know how he's like, what's up everybody? Or like Mr. Rogers like walking through the front door. I need like a, do you have any ideas? Maybe I could do like a spin. Neighbors, I'm so glad you are here to lucky number 57. Why is 57 such an important number to Pittsburgh? So if you're not from Pittsburgh, comment below. If you are from Pittsburgh, don't spoil it. Feel free to leave little hints. You can leave little hints down below. Today's a very special day because it is full of first times. For the first time ever, we got our car detailed. It needed it. It was a mess. Now, the detailing place was a little bit far away, so Henry and I hung out at the mall while the car got detailed. This is called the Ross Park Mall. That's an escalator, but it's going up. We can't go down that way. It's a it's a it's a thing for commercial. Uh, Claire's. That's called Yankee Candy. Candle. <laughs> Yankee Candle. We had to get uh, an Orange Julius. Let's try it. Let me try and make sure it's good. Mm. Oh, that's so good. How's your Orange Julius? It is yummy, huh? It's bubbly. Ooh. It's bubbly? Yeah. yeah. So we were there for a while. We were running out of ideas of things to do inside the mall when Henry found the Tesla store. So for the first time, we got to sit inside the Tesla. Here, Hen, what, let me, can I sit here? Or do you want to sit in the driver's? Okay, all right. Let me get in. Henry, we're in a Tesla. <laughs> this is a Tesla. Hey, hey. Look, you can, you can, uh, what? I don't know, it's like a big iPad. You touch all the stuff. Oh, that's that's what that does. <laughs> Are you making a circle? Yeah. Oh, that's a very good circle, Henry. Wow, it's a lot nicer than our car, Hen. I'll tell you that. But then things got a little bit messy, and for the first time, Henry had an accident in the Tesla. Wow. We were talking to the guy at the Tesla place, and Henry says that he has to poop. Not that he has to poop, but he pooped his pants in the Tesla, <laughs> so I had to rush him out into the bathroom to get him cleaned up. Did you poop in the car? Yes, you did. You pooped in the Tesla. But we won't tell them that's what happened. <laughs> so no worries, they did not kick us out or banish us from Tesla. Instead, I scheduled a test drive later this month for a Tesla. I'm not gonna get a Tesla, but I think it would just be cool for the vlog and to actually drive a Tesla. So that's gonna be an adventure. We got the car detailed, it was clean. On the way home, Henry peed in the newly clean car. So there was that. But today, I am most excited about something else that I am seeing for the first time, which is the premiere of won't You Be My Neighbor, which is the documentary about Mr. Rogers, which is coming to theaters June 8th. Now, my friend Aaron Watson, who you might remember uh, from the vlog a couple days ago, he had an extra ticket to this special premiere in Pittsburgh, so he invited me along, and that is where I'm going tonight with Aaron. We're gonna go see the premiere. I, so I'm talking about it. How about let's just jump ahead to that adventure. Oh my gosh, I am so late. I am so late. This thing starts at seven, it's 6.57. It's a half an hour drive. I had a client call me up uh, around 5.30 saying that they had an issue with their website and they had a webinar at 8.30. I had to fix this, this issue because people weren't able to check out their product on their, on their site, at, like buy their product. I, li I just found a workaround like a couple minutes ago and I'm like heading out, but I'm gonna be so late. If I didn't figure that thing out, I wouldn't be able to go right now. I'm like kicking myself right now. I'm so excited for this. I hope uh, I hope I still can get in. I've said it before, like I wanna, I wanna showcase the positives, right? I want this to be a positive channel, get people motivated to go make adventures, but like sometimes like life happens and life can sometimes smack you in the face and it's not always fun. Let's, uh, I'm just gonna skip ahead, let's go. Woo, I made it, but it's raining out. I'm gonna make it. All right, let's see if we can find Aaron. Oh my God. 
<laughs> How's it going, man? What's up? I, uh, I can't film in here, obviously, but I made it. Aaron's here, so thank you to Aaron. <laughs> I made it, movie hasn't started. I'll let you know how it is. What'd you think? Fantastic. Best movie I've seen in multiple years. Really? Really, really. Yeah, I It was, uh, got you right here. Watch this video to the end, and then immediately go watch the Mr. Rogers. Yes, and I'll link, say hi to me. Hey! I will link to the uh, trailer below. Alright, I'm back at home, getting ready to edit the vlog. Henry and Eric are asleep. I want to just give a couple thoughts on the, the movie we just saw, which was, it, it really did, it like got me right here. It just got me like thinking a lot, especially today. So there was, there was one part of the film where Daniel Tiger is talking to Lady Aberlin and he asks her, I've been wondering if I was a mistake. You were a mistake. <laughs> because he's so different than everyone else he knows. He's not strong, he's tame, he's not big, he's small. And he's wondering if he's a fake. He's a fake tiger and doesn't really belong. And Lady Amberlynn reminds him that she's still his friend. No matter how he looks or how he talks or how he acts or what he does, it's who he is that makes him special. There was something about that that like got me choking up during during that part of the film because like today, things not going right with a client and worrying that I wasn't living up to my expectation or worrying that I was gonna let Aaron down because I wouldn't be able to go to the premiere or letting you guys down because I wouldn't have been able to have a vlog. And I think part of that stems from still wanting to be loved and appreciated from what I do versus recognizing the love that I have around me already from Erica, from Henry, from my family, from my friends who love me for just for just being here. I think in a way we all, we all in, 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 in a way, we feel the same way as Daniel Tiger, or sometimes we don't feel like everyone else. Sometimes we feel like we have to be something spectacular, and that's the core of Fred Rogers' message was, you don't have to do anything spectacular to be loved. You just have to be you to be loved. Sometimes we try to do more than that when it's already all around us. Good movie, it was a good movie, and it just, really put today in perspective. That's it. That's all I have. I'll see you tomorrow. I think you are just fine, exactly the way you are. The way I look? Yes. The way I talk? <laughs> yes. The way I love? Especially that.